Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's uh, XCSX Reigns, XCSX on Xbox Live. Uh, for my editing page, it's Havoc Effects and it is RFX Studios. Um, I'm bringing you guys my first tutorial since you guys requested it on some of my last videos. I read the comments and you guys said that you guys wanted tutorials. So I'm bringing you my first one. Sorry if I mess up or anything like that. I'll be making your clips go from this to looking like this but uh, let's get into it I have here uh, Sony Vegas Live 9 I mean Pro 9 I'm sorry about that uh, I'm working with HD clips for this tutorial uh, only purpose because they're HD clips you know uh, these effects can work perfectly fine on regular clips you know high quality or just regular dazzle clips it really doesn't matter uh, the only purpose is because HD, you guys can see everything, every little detail, stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> the only difference between the regular clips and the HD clips are that the regular clips, I saw that you guys wanted a color correction tutorial from one of the comments that I read down below. So I'm just going to start getting into that real quick. Um, so I have here an HD clip. I have this from Supplemental Hero. Uh, I got it from some forum page, whatever. Uh, I'll leave that inside the description if you guys want to mess around with it. I'll leave file front links to some other clips stuff like that so you guys could mess around you guys could uh post them as a video response i'd appreciate it i would like to see what you guys come up with this for this tutorial for the color correction or any other clips or anything that you guys you know decide to further edit um so let's see first thing you want to add is brightness and contrast just do reset to none then you guys uh would want to go to color correction secondary reset to none for everything uh, then you want to go to saturation adjust. Um, let's see here. Then I also have this comes with Vegas Nine. It's not really necessary, but I use it because it looks pretty good, which is a soft blur on the sides, and then a black focus. And you're gonna see the what I'm talking about in a bit. It's gonna show up the effect right now. So just look at the screen. You can see two. You see how it blurs in this area in the four corners, and then once I add the last one, then you guys will be able to really tell what it is. Which is that right there. So you want to click on the the event effects in the lower right hand corner of the clip, and then you want to drag this out. First one you want to go to is brightness and contrast. For this HD clip in particular, because you know some of them, well, I don't know really how to explain it, but you know you might have to adjust it to the actual map you're on because you know different lightings and stuff like that. The epic put in, you know, it does affect. You can't just you know go ahead and put in a plug-in chain to every single map and expect it to come out the same. You know, you have to adjust things here and there. So. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come out with uh, plug-in packs, and when that video comes out, I'll put I'll put it inside the description. And for HD clip users and for Gal regular users for the regular Dazzle, uh, I'll you know upload plug-in packs for that, so you guys don't have to go through the hassle. So, uh, anyways, back to this for the HD clip, you want to go to neg set this set the brightness to negative 10. Gives it darkness. Set the contrast to about 15, and then keep the center the same. You want to go to color corrector secondary. The only two things you want to mess with are saturation, which is 1.5, and then gamma. You want to set that to 1.017. You can do 1.0. I mean 1.020. It doesn't matter, but you know, it's just my settings that I have for my computer and stuff like that. And then you want to go to saturation adjust. You want to set the high, not all the way to 100, but you want to set it to 9,000. Nothing's ever perfect, and if it's perfect, then the flaw is being perfect. <laughs> uh, you want to go to the amount, change that to negative 2.0. Let me just do this right here, it's easier, quicker. Then you want to set the center, put that to 
Actually, sorry about that. Um, it's actually 2.750. Oh. oh, whatever. Uh, then you want to go to the let's see the spread. Keep that at zero, and do the low, and set that to. Uh, negative. What is it here? Negative point seven five four. And I messed up on the center. That should be two seven five zero. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, I'll just keep it at two point seven. Doesn't matter. But if you really want to add that dramatic cinematic effect, you can go ahead and do that. Like, I'll add the first one. It doesn't really matter. I don't know what this is. So you want to set. You want to go to effect and set everything to zero, because that's going to actually affect your clip. You just want the four corners affected. Then you want to go to vignette, set the exterior effect to blur, um, set this to 100, horizontal and vertical, leave that at 10, set this to ellipse, not rectangle, you want a big box of blur for no reason. Then you want to go to softness and you want to set that to about 36. Width and height, uh, set that to 100. And then for X position and Y position, leave that at 0. And you want to do the same thing for the black one. You can just go ahead and add up another one. And for the same thing, you want to set everything to 0. <clears throat> and then go to vignette. You want to set this instead of the blur to black. Set the strength to about 61. Or 60 really doesn't matter, but I like to keep it at exact things. Set it from rectangle, put that to ellipse again. Set the softness to 39.3. I don't know why I have all these odd numbers. I'm going to go ahead and keep it at 39. Uh, you want to keep the two X position and Y position at 50. Uh, the width at 91. And then you want to keep the height at 90. It gives it a pretty good effect. The other thing I wanted to teach you guys was when you click, if you want to go back here to event pan slash crop, uh, event effects for the video, you want to click this button right here. This is plugin chain. Wait for it to load up. You see, I have all these presets from Call of Duty and gears and all this that I've collected, and I'll probably upload them if you guys want. Uh, uh, what you want to do is after you make a chain like I told you all those different effects colors saturation all that you want to go to save as and then it's gonna ask you what to save it under you know I already have all these presets uh, like I have color correction for a river I've just started doing these color corrections for gears that I'll probably upload for you guys uh, thank you guys for watching please comment rate subscribe if you guys want more uh, tutorials just I really didn't know what to do on this. As you as you guys can see, I'm at a loss of words. Uh, if you guys wanted you to just uh, leave a comment down low, please rate five stars. Uh, if you guys want more tutorials, um, and that's pretty much just the gist of it. Uh, if you guys want any tutorials of anything, I'll be willing to share anything you guys want. I uh, just put a comment down low, like I said, and I'll do anything from uh, transitions to anything that I've done. 
over the past year of editing that I've been doing. And that's pretty much it. So, thank you guys and peace.